I got completely ripped off on this Coinbase IPO from last week. We all got ripped off. We all had no opportunity to really capitalize on Coinbase's growth. I mean, a lot of us have accounts with Coinbase. We have been paying their fees. We've been participating in that. But why didn't I get the opportunity to capitalize on this growth in crypto and this growth in Coinbase before it went public? See, I believe the Coinbase IPO is the start of the end of the stock market as we know it today. The biggest reason why you didn't get to participate in the big upside of Coinbase, the reason I didn't get into it is the way the initial public offering system is structured. See, there's a group, a venture capital group called uh, Andreas Horowitz. He's the guy who was able to create a browser first guy to create a browser that was public massively adopted and has evolved into what we know as the internet and the ability to surf the internet so of course you know he's loaded he's a billionaire but he's got this venture capital firm and what these guys do is they get into early startup companies like you know facebook or coinbase and they get to buy in when these guys really really need money so to give you a perspective on the first Series A offering that Andreas Orowitz got into, they bought $5 million worth of Coinbase at 20 cents a share. Why didn't I get to participate in that? Why didn't you get to participate in that? Why is the system so rigged to make the richer rich and you and I, the hardworking people, the common folk of America not be able to participate in such a opportunity. Now, I totally get it. Venture capital guys, they probably out of 10 deals, two of them pay off. The rest of them, they lose their butts in. I get it. There's a level of risk. But why is the system built to make them richer and richer and not give you and I an opportunity to become rich also. So here's how it works. If you are to get into a privately private offering like a Coinbase Series B or Series A, Series B offering, you have to be an accredited investor, which means you make, I believe it's $250,000 a year or more, three years consecutively, I believe it is, or you have a liquid net worth of a million plus and you can prove it. So that eliminates what? 99% of the American people? Probably. Maybe a better, let, let's give a, give a little bit more. It eliminates 98% of the American people. So if you don't have that, you can't, offer, you can't buy into a Coinbase offering. Number two thing, which is probably the biggest, is that you don't have the connections. You aren't a player. You don't show up at that poker table because you don't have a key into the door of that room. And that's why most of those people who jump into these kind of deals are the same people. And they continue to get richer and richer. You know, uh, guys like Gary Vaynerchuk was one of those early adopters, early um, people to put money in. He owns VaynerMedia. And he, of course, Profited probably very big from this, very big. So I look at this system and I go, this is about to end. This stock market system that we, you and I invest in on a day, daily basis will be no more starting in five years. And here's why. My belief is with cryptocurrency, the whole blockchain system, regulatory requirements on companies, and the decentralization of finance on a global level. You're going to see more and more companies who are going to go the route of an initial coin offering versus an initial public offering. 
What do I mean by that? Well, right now, as it stands, and this will change, regulator, there is no regulation on who can create a token or a coin. I mean, was it uh, the dog cryptocurrency, which is rising and rising, and if you've thrown a couple bucks into that, you've made a lot of money in the last couple weeks. There's no regulation on who can put that out. I mean, that's a joke coin. That's a meme coin they talk about. Unless it's going to be adopted by somebody who's going to use it as their network for which they build their systems on, like you would a Ethereum or a Cordano or a Ren. But what this opens the door for is the local plumbing company here, AJ Plumbing who may need to raise capital, want to expand. Um, you could go to the bank and charge, be charged, you know, four to 6% or 10% if it's a uh, off, you know, street, you know, off market lender, like a lending club or somebody like that. Or, or maybe you could create AJ's coin token. And because I know AJ's Plumbing, and they're a very dominant plumbing company here on the Panhandle of Florida, I may be able to go, you know what, I'll buy into their initial coin offering. Because I think AJ's Plumbing is going to grow, and their earnings are going to grow. And when they report earnings, like they should, if you're doing this in that fashion, their coin value will go up in value. And they, you know, let's say they offer 2 million coins to the public and I get to buy in at 20 cents. And over time, they show growth. Their earnings grow, their expansion grows. They go from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida, or county, uh, to Okaloosa County, to Pensacola, down the panhandle of the United States. And they expand, they grow, and they show profits. Their coins become more valuable. Well, I don't have to be a credit investor to buy into his, their first offering. I don't have to meet income guidelines. It's easy. It's a simpler system. And most importantly, it's a system that is based on what the people believe it's worth. See, cryptocurrency has become more and more, has grown because of the individual, not the institution, not because of Goldman Sachs or Morgan Stanley or Wells Fargo. No, it's grown because of the individual geek, tech geek, who found this white paper by Bitcoin, or the guy who created Bitcoin, and said, this is the future. And they have built it, and now crypto is being adopted by your big institutions. And just recently with Goldman Sachs saying uh, that they will make available to their higher net worth clients, remember those two words, higher net worth, three words, clients. The elite will get to be able to invest via Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley via, you know, be able to invest in Bitcoin and other cryptos. And as you see this world change and evolve and the technology behind crypto, it's not a currency. Let's understand that up front. It's a commodity at this point. And there's many people in it now. But at some point, those people go away, just like the dot-com bubble, and they will be a core group of companies that do what is needed to decentralize the financial system. I used to, I'm a retired financial advisor and I used to have a client who has a barbecue place up in North Alabama. And we were talking about credit card processing fees. And he paid roughly eight to 10% of his gross revenue to the credit card companies to process your Visa, your MasterCard, your America Express, Diners Club, Discover, whatever. And I thought to myself, 
That's insane. 10% right off the top. If you have a bad year like Corona did, you know, did to his business, he survived it. He did well. But that's 10% of processing fees right off the top of your gross. What if we could eliminate that? And that's what crypto is introducing. The elimination of processing fees. The middleman. You know, for every Visa, I believe it's 2.5% of that swipe goes to Visa. Comes off the top of the gross. And then the restaurant uh, gets the rest. That's the big business. I mean, you look at how these banks reported earnings here recently. And they're not making money in residential lending or commercial lending. They're making money in credit card fees. But what if we could interrupt that? And that's what crypto is. And that's what blockchain presents an opportunity to. So let's bring this back to the original point of you and I getting ripped off and missing out on the opportunity to participate in the growth of Coinbase. Let's figure this out. So Coinbase is supposedly a $100 million company. And I think that was at the initial public offering. Okay, divided by 381, which was the initial price. So that's 262,467 shares that became available. What if that same amount in 2013, or a portion of, uh, a third of that became available in 2013 at 20 cents, and it was via a token, via crypto, you could have, you and I, uh, John who's, uh, you know, paying student loans and going to school, um, gets to participate, and you had invested let's say $5,000 into that. And then when it went public, and the other day I calculated this, so these are rough calculations, those, that $5,000 would be worth roughly $8.6 million today. What if you and I had that opportunity to participate in this? Well, this is where it's going. And this is where you're gonna see, and it's gonna start with the small companies like AJ's Plumbing here on the Panhandle, and I have no relationship with AJ's Plumbing, so I have no idea if they even know what crypto is. But I do know they know what credit card processing fees are, so this may get their attention. But what if small companies, micro companies, could do an initial coin offering and be based on what they truly, what their true value is, their earnings, their growth, and their coin was available, token was available to you and I. And I could put $5,000 into AJ's Plumbing because I see the growth here on the Panhandle and I believe AJ's Plumbing is benefiting in great ways from this. What if I could have done that? Well, when that happens and you start to see those companies happen, start to shift your mindset of where you're doing your brokerage business because it's going to go from the traditional Merrill's, TD Ameritrade's, stock market investing to crypto, to blockchain. And you're going to see more and more companies do this. And I have a belief that we will see one of the biggest, largest, wealthiest people in the world be the first mega cap business to do it. And that's Tesla. I believe Tesla bought their $1.5 billion worth or 43,000 shares of Bitcoin with the anticipation, number one, they have 19 billion in cash and a US dollar, which is a devaluing asset. And they said, we need to hedge that currency risk. But number two, if Bitcoin goes where everybody thinks it's gonna go, we just need to see it get really, really close to our overall market capitaliza capitalization and we could go buy all of our shares back. 
and we could go private. And then to raise capital and to truly transition from a stock market, Wall Street world, to then a crypto decentralized world. And I believe Elon Musk is one of those guys who would be very willing to do this, offer a Tesla token versus having a public traded stock. And that way he doesn't have to deal with all the junk, but he has just made the move or Tesla would have just made the move at that point to the new world, to the new financing world. I wouldn't doubt it five years from now, I wouldn't doubt that you see Tesla go private and then offer a Tesla coin. So what do you think? What are your ideas? What is your thoughts about all this? I know you, most of you don't know much about crypto and blockchain, but this is the changing world. This is where it's going. So we need to build our edge knowledge together and grow. So I'd like to see your thoughts, hear your thoughts on this. Please share them in the comments. In the meantime, live loud and take care.